Greetings, history buffs, literature lovers, and anyone curious about the man who shaped the English language as we know it. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the life and legacy of William Shakespeare, the Bard of Avon. His words have transcended time and language, igniting imaginations for centuries. From the star-crossed lovers of Romeo and Juliet to the power-hungry machinations of Macbeth, Shakespeare's plays are a timeless tapestry of human emotions. But who was the man behind the masterpiece? William Shakespeare's story begins in the quaint town of Stratford-upon-Avon, England, in the year 1564. The exact date is a bit of a mystery, but most scholars believe it was around April 23rd. Born into a world of bustling markets and half-timbered houses, young William was the son of John Shakespeare, a glover and alderman, and Mary Arden. Though details are scarce, we know he likely attended the King's New School, where he would have received a classical education steeped in Latin and literature. But life wasn't all books and grammar drills. At 18, Shakespeare took a dramatic turn by marrying Anne Hathaway, a woman eight years his senior. Soon after, they welcomed three children, Susanna and twins, Hamnet and Judith. Tragedy struck when Hamnet died in childhood, leaving a profound mark on Shakespeare's life, which some believe is reflected in his later plays that explore themes of loss and grief. The late 1580s saw a significant shift in Shakespeare's path. He left Stratford for the bustling metropolis of London, a city teeming with opportunity and a burgeoning theatre scene. The details of his early London years are hazy, but we know he began his theatrical career as an actor and possibly even a theatre owner. This first-hand experience with the stage undoubtedly shaped his future writing. By the early 1590s, Shakespeare's talent as a playwright began to shine. He started penning his own works, quickly gaining recognition for his witty dialogue, captivating plots, and masterful use of language. In 1599, Shakespeare and his acting company, the Lord Chamberlain's Men, achieved a monumental feat, the construction of the Globe Theatre. This open-air theatre became a cultural landmark, drawing audiences from all walks of life. Shakespeare's plays, performed on the Globe stage, became the talk of the town. His career flourished. He wrote comedies like A Midsummer Night's Dream and Twelfth Night, tragedies like Hamlet and King Lear, and histories like Richard III and Henry V. Each play explored the complexities of human nature, love, betrayal, and the very essence of existence. Shakespeare's genius wasn't limited to plays. He also penned a series of sonnets, poems filled with intricate rhyme schemes and profound emotions. In 1613, Shakespeare seemingly retired to Stratford, a wealthy and respected man. But his influence continued to grow. His plays were performed not only in London but across Europe. Sadly, in 1616, at the age of 52, Shakespeare passed away. Though the cause remains unknown, his legacy lived on. Over the centuries, Shakespeare's works have been translated into countless languages, adapted into films and operas, and studied by scholars and theater enthusiasts alike. His words continue to resonate with audiences today, offering timeless insights into the human condition. Shakespeare invented or introduced over 1,700 words into the English language. From elbow to gloomy, his vocabulary continues to shape the way we speak and write today. Shakespeare's tombstone features a chilling inscription warning anyone who dares to disturb his bones. Thankfully, no grave robber has tested its validity, yet. Believe it or not, some of Shakespeare's plays, like Hamlet and Troilus and Cressida, have been translated into Klingon, the language of the fierce warriors in Star Trek. Before becoming the renowned playwright we know, Shakespeare dabbled in various professions. He was a theater shareholder and possibly even a glovemaker, thanks to his father's business. Shakespeare wasn't afraid to borrow from existing stories and plots. He took inspiration from historical accounts, myths, and even other plays, weaving them into his own masterpieces. Despite his immense fame, details about Shakespeare's personal life are surprisingly scarce. We don't even know his exact birth date. Historians are still piecing together the puzzle of the bard. While Shakespeare's plays are his most celebrated works, he also wrote a series of beautiful sonnets. These poems explore themes of love, loss, and the passage of time in a deeply personal and lyrical way. While his sonnets may be known for their romantic language, Shakespeare wasn't above a good verbal jab. His plays are littered with clever and often hilarious insults, offering a glimpse into Elizabethan wit. 
It's believed that Shakespeare wrote many more plays than the 38 that have survived. These lost works may have been destroyed in fires or simply not preserved, leaving us with a tantalizing glimpse into what could have been. Despite his association with highbrow culture, Shakespeare's plays were originally meant for audiences of all walks of life. From the groundlings standing in the pit to the wealthy patrons in the balcony, everyone was welcome to enjoy the bard's brilliance. So, take a chance, dive into the world of Shakespeare, and unlock the magic of his words. Thanks for joining us on this journey to unveil the life and legacy of William Shakespeare, the Bard of Avon. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the fascinating world of literature.